Uh, good morning, welcome to Emergency Services Headquarters. Um, with me today is the Chief Officer of the um, SES, Chris Beattie, and a number of um, volunteers from the four units who today uh, take delivery of brand new state-of-the-art um, rescue equipment to support our community. I want to pay a special uh, welcome to Jim uh, Debman, Debman, the Unit Manager of South Coast, uh, Cam Angus from Prospect, he's a Unit Manager out there, uh, John Obinkowski, who's the Deputy at Unit Manager from uh, Sturt. Um, the SES, and particularly the SES volunteers, do an extraordinary job looking after our community. Um, they are busy uh, every day, um, every day, every week, every month, and um, they, along with our CFS and MFS, truly are multi-hazard agencies. It, it wasn't all that long ago, in fact, you know, basically 12 months ago, where these hard-working volunteers behind me were uh, deeply involved in the clean-up and the response and the clean-up to, to the uh, major flooding uh, of our River Murray. Um, today, tomorrow, they could be involved in incidents ranging from uh, road crash rescue, which uh, two of these vehicles are especially, especially kitted out to deliver. Um, trees down, uh, hazardous materials, uh, and of course uh, flooding and, and major water events. But they, along with their counterparts in the CFS and uh, Metropolitan Fire Service, uh, truly are multi-hazard. They truly are trained uh, exceptionally, and today these four new trucks continue to support them with the newest state-of-the-art equipment. Uh, two of these appliances are heading to uh, Prospect and Sturt, uh, specialist uh, multi-hazard uh, rescue uh, vehicles. Uh, and two of the vehicles heading to South Coast and Barmera are specialist road crash rescue vehicles. Um, the really good news, uh, one that I'm very proud of and our government is very proud of, is that these vehicles uh, are kitted out and built locally. Uh, these are a million dollar investment from the state government and the chassis themselves are, are purchased from North East uh, Isuzu and the uh, build is from a local business, Agribits. And not only are we supporting our volunteers with the best equipment on the front line, but in doing so, it's a really important part of this that we're all support supporting local industry, uh, local investment and local jobs. Uh, yesterday was a good demonstration of the capa capacity and capability of our emergency services. We had, uh, with a very, very significant day of weather facing our CFS, uh, many hundreds of CFS volunteers and staff who were deployed. Uh, we had 13 aircraft in the air, uh, about 85 people involved in state operations and regional uh, incident command, and close to 200 volunteers who were responded during the day. And, uh, I say that to demonstrate that no matter the day, no matter the weather, no matter the time of year, uh, our volunteers are ready, they uh, are selfless in their support for our community and today with these new four, four new appliances being delivered, uh, our government is very committed to doing the same, to giving the best equipment to our volunteers uh, when they need it. Thanks Minister. Uh, as we heard, SES volunteers respond to thousands of incidents every year 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, responding to severe weather, flooding, general rescues, road crashes, land searches. Our reality is our volunteers are turning out to more and more incidents each and every year. These four trucks behind me represent a valuable community safety investment, particularly for those communities that are served by the Prospect SES, the Sturt SES, Barmer SES, and South Coast SES based at Port Elliot and their surrounds. It's great to see uh, familiar faces behind me and the volunteers from those units who are on hand today to receive the keys to their vehicles. These road crash rescue and general purpose uh, appliances are indeed first class and I want to acknowledge and thank our industry partners Agribits and North East Isuzu on such a fantastic delivery fitted out with the latest hydraulic equipment and tools lighting systems, communication systems and safety technology. It's entirely appropriate that these trucks are built to the highest of standards. They're important assets and they will serve their communities and our volunteers for the next 20 years to come.